So, okay, so I try to finish this up in the next 10 minutes. So there are um, just some minor uh, things we have to cha um, yeah, add or change before we start to render. Uh, one thing is um, I don't like the texture map uh, on that uh, clock face here. So let's um, go to Photoshop and I um, opened up the Photoshop file where we pr uh, did that. So um, with that um, background layer here selected, uh, that has to be scaled down a little bit. So let me double click on that so that we can scale it. Um, and let's uh, bring in our um, UV snapshot. Okay, so with that done, um, I want, um, yeah, with that uh, layer zero here selected with our, uh, that we, uh, our texture that we created in uh, Maya, let me hit uh, Control T. And then I want to scale this guy down um, proportionally. So let me hit Alt and Shift, and then I scale it down to somewhere about here. Okay, hit Enter. And then I can hide uh, that layer there again. So now we have to tweak a little bit um, the Swiss Mate here. So let's select both of them, the Swiss and Mate, and then let's uh, take our Move tool, and uh, I'm using the up arrow key right now on the keyboard, and bring those back somewhere about here. And now let's uh, also go in and change the size of the Daytona. Okay, so that's a little bit too small. So with that selected, um, let's go in here and drag over that, and then say, um, Use uh, where is that? 110. Can't change it here. Oh, 72 point. So let's change it to something like. Uh, let's try something with 100. Okay, and then say bold. I think that's better. So the color uh, was not black. It was something like 74. 34, 32 in RGB. Something like that. Let me zoom in on that. Ah, okay, so it didn't. So with that selected, now let's go into color and type that in again. So 75 or to 34, 32, something like that. Okay, now with that uh, corrected here, let's, um, what we have to do now is uh, insert another layer. Uh, so first uh, go here to the move tool, then insert another layer, and then we fill that layer with white. So go your paint bucket tool and fill that with white. And then we have to bring this uh, underneath everything else here like that. And then we save that out again, uh, save as, uh, I save this as, as a targa, so now let me first uh, uh, save the Photoshop file here, alright, and then I will save it as a targa, clock face texture, let's this time call this clock face texture 3, hit enter, ok, and now I can close Photoshop and go back to Maya, and then we go to Hypershade and change that uh, image file. And once you, because we are using 4K textures here, so once you uh, hit 6 on your keyboard right now, um, that's going to crank up your um, system memory quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I won't t turn on those textures in, um, in uh, the viewport. Okay, so with that uh, clock face shader here selected, let me hit Control A. Um, or with, with that selected, uh, select here the inputs, outputs, so this is file number one. Let's change this to the texture that we just created, clock face texture three. Okay. So that's one thing. Another thing that we have to do that, um, first of all, is we have to bring in a plane that's sitting under those numbers here. So let's do this, uh, this real quick, uh, create a cylinder, um, move this guy up out of the way. And let me go to, yeah, or just uh, face mode here and s s delete all those faces. And with that object uh, in, in here, say center the pivot. 
and then let's um, select this object and the main plate and at least one uh, the, the main case and at least one number here and then say hit, hit alt h and then we have to bring this guy down and obviously we have to scale it up and then it has to sit right under those numbers but over the main case right so let's check that out somewhere about here that should work fine so now we scale this up um, until uh, I can see anymore and then we go to hypershade and then we create another uh, MI, uh, MIA material and we give it here uh, let's glossy glossy plastic and then we turn the color here to a uh, black and the reflection color here down so leave it with those settings here and then we uh, drop the shader here on our new plane so with that done um, it's flickering here so let's take a quick render and see if um, that works out with it yeah that works out all right and now we can go in here and say uh, show everything else so show all and uh, yeah the one last thing that we uh, really have to model uh, is the glass here on top so but that's what we are going to do later so first of all yeah let's um, create a render camera so let me go to wireframe so that my computer system here is a little bit faster let's create under rendering a render cam and then uh, let's go in here and say we want to render out uh, not in one case square we want to render out in the render settings here to uh, HD 720 right and then we uh, with that camera still selected we go here to panels and say look through selected camera and then turn on the resolution gate and then we want to find a nice uh, angle from uh, where we want to render this watch here okay um, we could do is go back to perspective as well and uh, go to the qu uh, the quad view uh, this my Maya here is uh, thinking so if you're having problems with your memory uh, like I said uh, try to stay in wireframe here and also um, if you have uh, accidentally hit six on your keyboard uh, to load those 4k <laughs> textures up um, a good idea is to um, close Maya and then um, open that up again that's that's uh, that helps okay so now here um, I will go here to panels say camera 2 and then in the perspective view uh, we could uh, rotate our camera a little bit to somewhere somewhere about here and then I'm moving this in uh, in my perspective view here to get a nice angle okay so we could bring this here and a little down here yeah some somewhere about here so it's only a matter of uh, what you want to really want to render okay all right so because of um, yeah the stuff that we had to fix first um, I'm <laughs> running out of time again but I promise I promise in the next video in the next video we will finish this whole tutorial up all right see you in the next one